Hey, Luba, how about we do this one more time for Johnny Baker? I basically got so much going through my head right now, I have to say it, because if I wrote it down, it would be longer than a scroll from a dead cell. I swear to God that's true. Between law enforcement and my neighbors, basically law enforcement, last time down in a strip club, don't judge, we had a gift card. I, I'm in there for maybe four, five tapes, and the bouncer shows up. Don't even show his badge number, he just taps me on the shoulder. He's like, I don't know where you're from, but here we don't grope the dancers. I'm like, well, somebody has been. Heck, three of them are pregnant. <laughs> it's like, her water's going to break, and I know you ain't licensed for a shower stage. Because <laughs> you have to post the permits at state law. <laughs> and to interrupt me in the middle of Molly Hatch, it is unchristian. <laughs> And how can they prove it was solicitation of a prostitute when I gave that whore the money in a birthday card? <laughs> Whores have birthdays too. <laughs> Even the sketch artist agreed with me. <laughs> See, that's what law enforcement does. They try to trip you up. My first ever police chase. He finally called up. Trick question right off the bat. Why were you swerving? Because you threw them stop sticks at my tires. <laughs> I know it's a Ford Topaz, but if you make me go off-road, I'll turn it right into a dune buggy. <laughs> I'm amphibious that way. <laughs> I should have scissor kicked him in his throat and broke his karate artery, but I already... <laughs> If I wasn't hauling a boat, he would have never caught me to begin with. <laughs> my neighbor, my neighbor told the homeowners association my boat was an eyesore. Well, so's your wife, Mitchell. <laughs> we ain't supposed to have livestock in this neighborhood yet. I'm pretty sure you married a sea cow. <laughs> that to the board. I don't want her grazing in our yard again. That's crabgrass. I could move to Colorado and smoke it if I had to. <laughs> I ain't scared him. I said it right to his face to a privacy fence. <laughs> he sends his kids over trying to raise money for all-stars when he knows we only give money to sick kids and cheerleader car washes. <laughs> And if you read the covenants, he's got a bird bath big enough to house a pterodactyl. <laughs> and he knows we don't believe in dinosaurs. So that's another friend of I don't believe in dinosaurs. They make us read about them. I think it's a government conspiracy. I think dinosaurs were invented to sell textbooks and chicken nuggets. <laughs> when have you ever seen a dinosaur? <laughs> When was they here? We researched it supposedly a billion years ago, 14, 1500 BC, back during medieval times. Okay. And two weeks ago, with Blitzer bragging on CNN about finding mastodon bones in South Dakota. They weren't mastodon bones. Do your research with when was the dinosaurs killed off the Ice Age? Okay, I've had Tommy John surgery on both knees. I know what ice does to stuff. It makes it swell up and puff up. They ain't mastodon bones. They were probably June bugs or, or, or cricket skeletons that were under five layers of polar ice for 1,500 years. <laughs> Conspiracy. Same thing with the pterodactyl. They didn't even spell it right. They just came up with it. Oh, a big bird with a 50-foot wingspan and leather wings is going to sweep down and pick up cattle like gummy bears. And if that didn't survive? <laughs> fly with leather wings and we're... If you could fly with leather wings, then every hair band in the 80s would have lost their lead singer due to migration. <laughs> I'm Donnie Baker, and I approve that message. Yeah. I gotta go.
Johnny Baker!